a soil bank for farmers and why that matters. Just a couple weeks ago, we had our first look at how the Biden administration feels about climate change. A series of policy memos were released and written by the Climate 21 Project, which coincidentally is co-chaired by Christy Goldfuss, the Managing Director of President Obama's Environmental Quality Council, and Tim Profeta, the Director of the Nicholas Institute for Environmental Policy Solutions at Duke University. In a series of 12 transition memos, the group calls for dozens of actions that cabinet departments and offices could take in the Biden administration's first 100 days from the Environmental Protection Agency to the Treasury. It includes a 21-page memo on steps that might be taken by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the USDA. This is important. Although USDA has not received the sustained political attention of other agencies uh, that play a role in climate policy, its national footprint broad loan and grant-making authority, and unrivaled ability to influence decision-making in rural America should make it a linchpin of the next administration's climate strategy, the memo states. USDA has not played a big role so far, but it should. It goes on to say that USDA should also use the government-owned Commodity Credit Corporation to create a federal carbon bank that would offer credits for the carbon sequestration by sustainable management practices, both on the farm and off. It also suggests allocating $1 billion to purchase carbon credits at $20 per ton, which could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50 megatons each and every year. After a one-year pilot, the memo suggests that the administration should build support among House and Senate ag committees and appropriators in order to eventually pass legislation that would allow the USDA to sell those purchase credits into a national carbon market. Now, this is controversial for some, but some of the biggest companies in food and farm, like Bayer, McDonald's, Danone, and Nestle, have launched marketplaces that pay farmers for the carbon that actually is sequestered in their soils already.